Hey what's up guys, in this video we're gonna talk about regular expression in javascript. So regular expression is a sequence of characters that form a search pattern. So these patterns are used with different methods like match, test or replace to perform pattern matching and also for search and replace operations. And also the regular expression can include variety of elements, modifiers, quantifiers which allows us to perform more complex pattern matching. So let's now see how we can create regular expression in javascript. So there are two ways we can create regular expression either we can use the constructor or we can use the literal. So first of all let's see how we can use the constructor to create the regular expression. Suppose we want to create the pattern. So now we have to do is we have to write new regular expression and inside the constructor we have to pass the pattern. So we wanted to search for hello and after that we can pass in modifiers so we can pass in i for case insensitive we can pass in g for global and let's just create one string like hello world so we have the string and we have the pattern so let's now use the match method so we're gonna write string dot match and inside we have to pass in the pattern so you can see we are getting hello as output so if we have multiple hellos it will return that as a result so we have successfully created this pattern and apply it over this string so let's now see how we can create one regular expression by using the literal so let's create this pattern too and let's just create the same pattern so for this we have to use two forward slashes and inside that we have to pass in the pattern string and after that we can pass in the modifiers like an example we can pass in i for case insensitive we can pass in g for global and let's now apply this pattern to on the same string so we're gonna write string dot match and now we're gonna pass in the pattern to and you can see we're getting the same output although we're using different ways to create the same pattern but the result is same so let's now talk about modifiers in regular expression so the modifiers also known as flags used in regular expression to change how the pattern matching behave so we can literally change the behavior of the pattern so first of all let's talk about the i modifier so let's just create one pattern and after that we can pass in i as a modifier so now this will match with small hello and also there will be match if there is a capital hello also so this will ignore the case of the match so if we use the test method so pattern dot test and if we pass the string so you can see we are getting true even though the pattern has small hello but still it's a match with the capital hello because of this i modifier so if we remove this so you can see we are getting false so the i modifier is changing the behavior of this pattern and next we have the global modifier so we can pass in g as a modifier now this is a global modifier so this will return all occurrences of the match so if we have multiple hello and now if we use the match method so you can see because of this g modifier we are getting all the matching occurrences from the string so let's now talk about the bracket so the brackets are used to find a range of characters like an example we can create the pattern and inside the pattern we can pass in a range like a to c and we are using the global modifier so we have this string and the pattern so pattern is from a to c so any character from a to c will be returned so let's now apply this pattern on the string string dot match and then we're gonna pass in the range pattern so you can see we're getting abc as output so any character from a to c will be a match and this will be returned similarly also we can pass in numbers like from 0 to 5 now if we pass in 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so you can see we are getting from 1 to 5 as output because our range is from 0 to 5 and also we can use exclude like we can use caret so this will return any digit that is not in range from 0 to 5 so we are getting 6 7 as output because that is outside the range from 0 to 5 so this caret works as a not in range and also we have meta characters so the meta characters are characters with a special meaning and they are used for complex search pattern like an example we can create one pattern and inside that we can pass in backslash d so this is a meta character that is used to find digits in a string so let's just create the string so this is the string that contains both 
the characters and also digits also now this pattern will only return digits from the string so let's just apply this so we're gonna write string dot math and then we're gonna pass in the pattern so you can see we're getting only the numbers from the string similarly also we can pass in w for word character so so it will return all the characters and numbers except if we pass in any special characters it will not return them and also we can pass in capital w so this will be opposite of that so it will return all the special characters and spaces and also we can pass in capital d so this is opposite of the digit so it will return all the characters and special characters as a output so this way we have lot of other meta character that we can use we can use the s for white space character we can use o for null character so let's now talk about quantifiers so quantifiers allows us to specify how many time a character in regular expression should be matched so we have this plus quantifier which means one or more occurrences we have this star quantifier which means zero or more occurrences and also we have the question mark which means zero or one occurrence so here we have this example string now let's just create the pattern with the plus quantifier so here we have this pattern x a plus so the plus represents one or more occurrences of a so this pattern will match x a x double a x triple a so x followed by any number of age so this pattern will have a match with all of these strings so let's just apply this pattern on the string so we're gonna use string dot match and then we're gonna pass in the plus pattern so you can see we're getting x a x double a x triple a similarly also we can create the star pattern so here we have to pass x a star so here the star represents zero or more occurrences so this pattern will match x then x a x double a so x followed by any number of a's so this pattern will have a match with all of these strings so if we apply that tar pattern so you can see we have this match and also we have this pattern of question mark so here we have to use the question mark which represents zero or one occurrence of a this will be match with x and x a so this pattern will have match with these two strings so if we apply that question mark pattern so you can see we have the match with x where there is no a and also we have the match with x a where there is only one a and this way we have several other quantifiers that we can use so this is the way we can create our regular expression and also we can use different modifiers and also we can create one pattern range using the bracket and also we can use different meta character and also different quantifiers in our pattern which allows us to perform very complex pattern matching so hope you understand the concept we'll see you in the next one take care